Tanya, and I'm here to recite this memory verse. Isaiah chapter 59, verse 1 and 2. Surely your Lord has enough power to save you. He can hear you if you ask him for help. Isaiah chapter 59, verse 2, the verse, second verse. For your iniquities have separated you from God, and your sins have hidden his face from you, so that he will not hear you. Isaiah 59, verse 1 and 2. Thank you. My name is Atari Solomon, and I'm here to say John chapter 14, verse 2. In my father's house are many mansions. If you are not so, I would, I would tell you, I go to prepare a place for you. My name is Joseph Beth, and my name is Anna Solomon. Romans 5, verse 8. For God demonstrated his love towards us. In while, while we were still sinners, Christ, Christ died for us. Romans, Romans chapter 5, 5, verse 8. My name is David Imao Osaka, and I'm here to say my memory verse, which is taken from Isaiah chapter 59, verse 2. Isaiah chapter 59, verse 2. But your iniquities have separated you from your God, and your sins have hidden his face from you, so that he will not hear you. Isaiah chapter 59, verse 2. Confer to me. Abba, excuse me. Good day, church. My name is Mama Anna Asha, and I'm here to recite John chapter 14, verse 1 and 2. Verse 1 says, Jesus said to them, Don't let your, your heart be troubled. Believe in me and believe in yourself. Verse 2 says, in my father's house, there are many mansions. If it were not so, I would have told you. I come to prepare a place for you. John chapter 14, verse 1 and 2. Good morning, everyone. My name is Abba David. I'm here to take a memory verse from Isaiah 9, verse 2. Isaiah 9, verse 2. From your iniquities has separated you from God, and your sins are feeding his face from you, so that I cannot hear you. Isaiah 9, verse 2. Thank you. Why I say I'm a Christian? Why I say I'm a Christian? I am not shouting. I have been saved. I am whispering. I get lost. That's why I chose this way. When I say I'm a Christian, when I say I'm a Christian, I speak with I don't speak with you, man, but I am confessing that I stumble needing God to be my guide. When I say I am a Christian, I don't think I know it all. I submit to my confusion, asking humbly to be taught. When I say I am a Christian When I say I am a Christian, I'm not claiming to be perfect. My flaws are all too visible, but God believes I'm worth it. When I say I am a Christian, I'm not trying to be strong. I'm professing that I'm weak and pray for strength to carry on. When I say I am a Christian, I still feel the sting of pain. I have my share of headaches, which is why I seek God's name. When I, when I say I am a Christian, I do not wish to judge. I have no authority. I only know I'm loved. Good day, parents. My name is Ibrahim Yakubila. And I'm from 7 to 9, and my, my presentation is the Ten Commandments. One, you shall have no other God before me. Two, you shall not make yourself a calf image. Three, you shall not take the name of your Lord God in vain. Four, remember the Sabbath day to keep it holy. Five, honor your father and mother that your days may belong upon the land which the Lord has given you. Six, you shall not murder. Seven, you shall not commit adultery. Eight, you shall not steal. Nine, you shall not bear false witness against your neighbor. Ten, you shall not covet your neighbor's wife, nor his female servants, nor his male servants, nor his ox, nor his donkey, but not anything that flocks your neighbor. Thank you. Well done.